the rivers may have changed. Our techniques and methods may have changed. Fly fishing has changed. For almost 200 years we have been watching, moving, evolving with the current. But for us, one thing really hasn't changed. It's that feeling, the one that got away. Now as we launch our new heritage fly hooks, that's the one we have in mind. Introducing the new heritage series from the start. Our heritage, your legacy. Don't let it get away. We'll start with a mustard heritage, a curved caddis, barbless, size 12. You'll find the link to the uh, new hook series in the text below. I've got a little length of adhesive lead tape, about two millimeters thick. So we go forward like this. Break that off. Put that on. I have sheer 40 naught white. We just start at the front. I want to go over the lead wire. Uh, it's important that you cover, if you're using a light colour of uh, nymph skin or latex, that you cover the lead wire, otherwise it will show through the finished fly. And you won't get the desired uh, effect. Let me just trim that off at the rear. Spin my tying thread anti-clockwise to give it a flat profile, then you get a better foundation. I'll just go back to the tail base, just build up the body. Don't forget to spin your thread. Get the right body shape and I'll stop there. And we need a short length of mono for the rib. Just tack this in on the underside and go back right into the rear of the flight. Tie it in with a couple of tight turns and then we can go back up again. Make sure it's all secure. Build up that body a little and want to go back a little over half ways. Then I have some uh, virtual nymph nymph skin. This is natural. So we just cut off a little strip and once we've cut that strip off we can cut it at a slight angle like that. And what we do is we come up here We just tack that in and we stretch it as we go, tying it in as we go back, down to the tail base like that, then we can go back up, taking care that you've got the right body shape for the foundation. We can go forward, then we want to stretch it, just hang that mono out of the way. Want to stretch it for the first turn. Now try and keep the turns 90 degrees to the hook shank and evenly spaced. Now we want to slacken off, we don't want to stretch it that much here. 
like so. It's looking good. Excellent pattern for both trout and grayling. Now I can get one more in there before I turn it upside down and stretch it. And what I'll do is I'll just make some few, a few turns there to secure it. I'll pull it back, lock off my thread in front and then I want to really stretch it so the latex disappears under the tine thread when I cut it off so we get a nice neat head spin my tine thread anti-clockwise again to flatten it and we'll just come in make a few turns at the head go back give it a whip finish just to hold things in position like so then we can take our mono now once we wrap when we wrap this mono what we want to do is we don't want to go into I use my dubbing needle we don't want to go into the rear of each wrap we want to just go on the edge of the rear of each wrap this will give you a nice segmenting that one in that one in that Tie that one off. And we can remove that like so. So and we can take our whip finisher, build up a nice head like so. remove that and then what I like to do is I use I don't like to use UV resin but uh, brush coat from Vanyard we just give that a coat and it gives a really nice finish Like so, and that's the finished gummy grub or maggot. If you enjoyed the videos, please like, share, subscribe, and on the link below, you'll find the new mustard hook range. Thanks for watching.